be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangs. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make any sample sound super crazy in Logic Pro. Let's get it. So this is the sample I have here. I'm gonna play it first and then I'm gonna go over what we could do to make it sound super crazy. So that's a sample. Sounds pretty dope as it is. It has a nice little bop to it, but there's some things we can do to it. First thing I'm gonna talk about is the Beat Breaker plugin, all right? You can just pretty much scroll down, midway, multi-effects, Beat Breaker, put that on there. And what I did is, um, there's a lot of different presets you have here. I selected this one right here, it's a skip around, and let's see what that sounds like now. Pretty big difference. Let's check out before. Really, this Beat Breaker plugin is pretty dope in that, like with samples, it will mix it up a little bit or enough to where it can really be something that's not necessarily unrecognizable but something that i feel like is clearable because that's the main thing when you're using like royalty free loops and stuff like that you want to make it sound like your own not just sound like you just took it and push play so that kind of makes uh jumbled up scrambled it up a little bit and uh the next thing i want to talk about is this phaser i just put a little light medium phaser on there you can like adjust this if you want but let's just check it out just kind of add a little smooth vibe to it. So that's pretty dope. And then the next thing I did is you can put this plugin called MV2. It's like a, um, a compressor basically, kind of boost the signal here. Let's check it out. And then last, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite things to do and add to music is a reverb. If you know, add it properly, you know, when you're not putting too much reverb on there, it sounds real nice, real, uh, real silky. So low key, if I was to take off all these plugins, it's I'm not gonna say it's completely unrecognizable, but for the most part, let's see, it's a big difference. Anyway, y'all play around with you know adding certain plugins onto your uh, your your samples. You're gonna you know take those things up to the next level, make them sound crazy. Uh, make sure you go ahead and get subscribed to the channel if you're brand new. Also, we got channel perks. It's only three dollars a month to join. You get extra videos that are not posted on the channel. And if you want to go even deeper into like learning music production the easy way, the simple way, 
broken down, you know, to where even a five year old could understand it. Go to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Grab all of my courses, grab all of the sound kits, grab the mixing templates. We have something called the Beat Making Master Bundle. And get everything for a cheaper price. But you can check that out, man, at my site. And without further ado, we're out.